Hello, friends of Pirate Chain. Yes, hello, pirates. Hello, friends of Komodo Platform. Friends of Crypto is me, Juliana, and it's the 11th of August. Well, we have just turned over into 12th of August in the UTC time zones. Here we are. And I'm going to share the screen so we can look at these charts because the bullishness is, sentiment is quite high at this moment. It's not overdone, but there is enough bullish sentiment to start to make things seem cautious. However, I do feel like we're getting, maybe get one more, one more move. Let's see, okay, well, different things are speaking differently. So we'll just look at BTC here quickly just to get a survey of our daily candles really uh what has happened here so far here we go so with the btc you see on this daily price candles uh finding resistance at the ichimoku cloud top of the ichimoku cloud resistance uh, but we had broken through the 200 day moving average and now coming back tried to break it but nope and here we are supporting, supporting uh, with the 200 day. So either the squeeze is taking us higher or it's gonna fail and move down. Because the market likes to take away from people who think it's gonna go one way, uh, it might dump down first before it goes higher. You know, not even necessarily more than below the 42,000 level, right? Uh, and then go higher. Uh, but I think the strength is with the holding of the 200 day moving average continuing to move higher and then coming down and consolidating. And I get the sense that that's what's gonna happen with most things. Um, and it might only last, let's say one more day and tomorrow is a day where it makes a big move up and then, you know, selling happens and there's consolidation and whatever. Or maybe it's not just tomorrow, maybe, you know what I mean? It's it's something like that. But uh, these, this move is, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen in the next day or two because, you know, we're making our red moves here, down moves consolidations. Now it's time to continue higher. Otherwise too much consolidation might lead to, uh, there's too much of a squeeze here happening. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so that's the idea. Now, I just wanna take one measurement here with the um, extension, Fibonacci extension. We'll go bottom to top of this move. Uh, of the first wave down to the second wave here. And boom, we are at about a 618. So if this is a weak move, then yes, we could stop right here at a 618 uh, extension and come back down, um, but doesn't feel like it. So um, I'm thinking one to one feels about right at this time. One to one feels right. Maybe we get a two or three days of green candles. Um, maybe this next day is a red candle like this one, you know, just kind of sideways flat doesn't really do anything special, altcoins move, or maybe not. We're at a $2 trillion complete total market cap, at least in terms of what people see. And so $2 trillion is a psychological number and uh, you know, it's, it might be a, a significant enough resistance, um, but we'll see what, what, what ends up happening. Uh, either way though, things are looking good. They, they have been going up a bit much, so we do expect pullbacks, but when, that, that's always the question. So that's one thing we're looking at. Um, yeah, so you know the divergence makes us makes makes it look like it could happen any time, which is why it's either going to be fast uh, next little bit or it's going to break down a bit first and then resume. That uh, either way it's fine, but I think you know this fifty three thousand level is definitely uh, the place to go now to test because it is where we had previous supports before we had the full move down. So even though we went below that here. Um, that's around the 50,000. That, that will be, I think, a little intermediate, but I think once we get to 50, uh, 52, 53 will be, will be in, in short order. And then uh, once we make the 1618, that's when we're testing the, the previous uh, highs. Okay, and then the other confluence that we wanna check is let's say from the high to the low, we take a Fib retracement. Uh, we'll take the, the candle wick low and we get some confluence. The 0.5 is where we are now not necessarily candle with low, we'll take these right here as the low of the move, end of the move, I should say. So, uh, and the beginning of the next move. So from here, uh, we see the confluence for the 618 um, in the extension and the 0.5 in the retracement. So if we move a little bit higher, uh, what seems to work well um, is around this 786 level, uh, seems good too. But 
right now, I think if we can find ourselves, uh, I think if we can find ourselves beyond the 618, between 618 and 786, that's really gonna be the zone where a fight happens. That's gonna be a zone where the fight happens, uh, which will basically um, determine if we're, we're gonna continue higher or uh, reject and go lower. Uh, that's just that's just the biggest zone that we wanna consider for now uh, going forward in time, okay? Okay, that's it for the BTC. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, but I do want to just quickly slide over to the four hour price chart. Wow, so much action. So we're gonna take this away. Take this away. Okay, sorry about that. We are starting to squeeze. Okay, I just wanna just recognize we are above the clouds. We, the lagging span is above the price. Bollinger bands are potential to uh, provide a, a springboard here. If we're finding support here. So if we break below the 20 period average, we might be coming down to this 42,000 level, 43,000 level to test the at the cloud and then try and work our hand higher. Uh, so let's look for this to, to hold support and then we make our moves higher. That's the idea. Uh, divergences be darned. And here we have some red. Uh, so it could, it could get red more um, before it becomes green. However, it could be a small uh, red and a further green, and we make a move up higher with the signal MACD and more green um, positive momentum before we make some, some further sustained uh, and reversal type of MACD. However, like I said, people are looking for the, the move to go up. So before it goes up, uh, it could need to go down first. Okay. Next, let's move over to the pirate chain charts because wow, into the four dollars with the R USDT. So overall, I just wanted to notice the shape we're making here is this wedging formation. Now, this could be signaling uh, a topping and then moving uh, lower, um, possibly around the oof, we'd say maybe the 350 levels. Um, I don't think it like even down here might be the case, but I think 350s ish is uh, is that level where we'd really want to have the support because whoops. Uh, so what I'll do is just actually take this one out now. There we go, and <clears throat> so we want that as support. Here we can we can let go of this um, trend line for now um, because it's quite. A, an intriguing line here. Uh, this is the daily chart for the R, uh, R USDT. In fact, let's just slide it up a bit here. There we go. So roughly around that type of line, okay, um, for the longer uh, move trend line ish. So um, if we want to take a look closer down, well, firstly, let's let's enjoy the candles. So we've had. Uh, what I wanted to notice is uh, we we made our supports down here at the purple support line. Beautiful. Okay. Done. Uh, and we we held our support here. The bodies closed always above. After we made that move up, we closed above this line about the three the 350, 355 line here. So beautiful. Um, we're going to keep that there as our support resistance uh, main one that we need to hold. But I also want to recognize, wow, we've we've broken above this sucker here too, this four dollar support uh, resistance line. So beautiful moves here for the fire chain uh, price chart. Um, incredible, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how much it can sustain. Uh, again, more divergence is being set here. Um, MACD divergence with the histogram and the RSI divergence as we make um, you know, higher lows, sorry, highs to low. So it's going high to low there and it's going low to high in the price. Although you can, we can argue with the wicks and in that case, fine. But the, with the closes is, much, is more of a consideration here for me. All right, so that's that. And we move into the four hour price chart. So it's overall looking good. Uh, it's either now or never, so to speak, just like in the previous charts. You know, we're pushing around the top of the Bollinger Band. Um, either, it, you know, we're gonna go sideways for, a while, uh, 
it's possible we have this support line here could make a few days of of moves down to the, the four dollar level and then eventually make it way higher sure no problem um but they and and that then based on this positive histogram here and potentially moving negative this is relatively small compared to this one back here even these back here so it's just a small maybe a small negative histogram as well and then we can move higher so that's definitely a good possibility here making our way uh through this this region here until it's time hopefully that trend line holds um but anyway if it doesn't it, it, it's not an exact trend line especially on this four hour chart so you know uh, there's there's definitely a lot of potential but um but we'd hope they would come sooner than than later and this 20 period average definitely wants to be held okay you need to hold this 20 period average and that's a four hour price price chart um just to to take a look then uh we'll move over to the r btc so with our btc what i'm seeing here is actually quite interesting as well um so with our btc uh this support line here is no longer needed at the moment we'll we'll relieve ourselves from that uh, we held good support resistance here this line has held nicely for us for all plus even better let's zoom in here this is the four hour price chart so that support resistance held nice with the body closes uh if we want to i'll just undo that here and it's, it's, okay so the body closes on this chart see how they held nicely around that support resistance line and the wicks you know they, they respected this upward trending line uh, which had previously uh, been formed around here so yeah we're we're pretty strong in the in the r um uh, r btc price uh, however some sideways consolidation here is taking us uh, a bit of time and okay so that's that's what i want to say sorry i keep moving it around but i'm trying to catch my bearings here oh by the way did you like the video yet thanks for liking the video any comments you make right sharing the video even but i appreciate all the comments and, and things like that so we pushed we pushed above the the resistance line and, and we're trying to hold it now so probably gonna try to show uh, support at that line on a shorter time frames and um here we are this is a four hour price chart by the way so it looks like either we can start making a bigger move like are we going to break this previous high are we gonna are we gonna make some some moves uh, or are we gonna show uh, show weakness first before we can break it uh that, that that is remains to be seen but overall it's showing strength like this is a strong touch here this is a strong touch uh, in my opinion um so that gives us time to consolidate more around here if needed and then we can move higher however we're pushing the tops of that bollinger band so uh, there's a good chance we're trying to trying to move a bit higher before you know before we 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 slow, cool down a bit um, and actually yeah even on the rsi there's a good chance for for continued up moves then we take the daily and we really start to see some decent strength but there is now a definite chance for sideways action maybe we get another fourth candle in a row green but you know hey we got four here as well but generally uh, we don't see a lot of um well maybe maybe pirate is a, a four candles in a row and then a, a big red to invalidate all of them <laughs> that can it can be it can be it's all good a big green can invalidate a whole bunch of red candles too so that's where we're at with the uh, the r prices but you know again respecting that 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 trend line holding this 20 day moving average very nice good 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 very beauty very beauty well done to the pirate chain price chart so that's where we are with that and um, honestly with here uh, it's a kind of a flibbity flobbity set of data because this this is not a lot of data on the kucoin exchange and so it just starts at a weird point and so yeah we'll, we'll watch it clear out overall 
Um, and see where we go from here. That'll give us a better a better sense and we'll have more data. Okay, so that's uh, that's good. It's looking good. I hope you're doing well there with the R. And then I'm just gonna slide over here to a, a quick look at the KMB BTC because this one as well, either it's going you know relatively soon now or um, or it's gonna flop down. So you know this zone here, this yellow zone here between around the 25 to 2600 level uh, coming for you. Uh, you could even say there'll be resistance at around 2400 um, because you know you see these candle tops here. The that's going to probably and it's also here. So you know I, I think that that's fair, but whatever. I just wanted to show that we have nicely held this this line, so we popped above it. Nice candle today. Tried to go below, but it's overall it's a sideways candle. It's an indecision candle. We're at the top of the Bollinger Bands. Either we're going to consolidate lower and sideways or we're going to have to continue with this trend and it's going to at some point have to be exuberant enough to push through this top of this bollinger band we're going to make a couple big candles uh, one or two and uh, maybe it's like one more you know a daily candle one or two get a wick into here or something like that uh, so possible i mean what, what would that percentage be just for fun roughly uh, around roughly around a you know, let's say 15 to 20 percent you might consider. So that's that's that story for any of your friends that you want to tell that story to. Uh, but that's the KMD uh, uh, BTC, and it's also looking strong um, on the daily chart. And there is potential here to go higher with the MACD, um, and go into some positive territory with the MACD signal lines and more positive histogram. We'll see. Let's see how it works here. Again, it might just be short lived, a couple of strong pump here, and then some sideways and down, that's that's a possibility. Um, and overall things are, are looking good. And then really what's calling me here is this four hour price chart. Look how many green candles. I mean, it can't last that much longer. So we're either gonna get one of these massive pumpers um, or two, you know, so first maybe we need a bit of red. Let's see, we are here. We are at the cusp of another oversold action. So we could push and get some exuberance. We have come from pretty low. so. I think this is the, the deal. Like if, if we can't hold this level here and go higher, then yes, we're going lower. Um, and no harm, no foul. We have some good supports around the 2000 level. So let's, let's you know, use them as needed. Um, but ideally uh, we go up before down. We go up, we go up, we go up, we go up before down. And if we can, you know, whatever, who knows what happens from there. Maybe it, that's the time to break the trend line. That's fine, but um, no worries. Yeah, that's what we need. We need some of that action. So give it to us. And uh, that's the four hour price chart. But um, yeah, and at least here, there's not really, I mean, if we're looking at the closing prices and such, um, no, not really seeing divergences. However, uh, yeah. It's gonna, it's, at some point, we're gonna have to uh, correct. And that's the idea, are we gonna get higher first or it has this been the turning point? Okay, cool. I get the sense we're going higher. That's just me um, and my bias. So my bias is to the upside before the downside. All right. Cool, that's it. I think I am done there with that. Still hovering around that $1 level for the KMD USDT. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Much love, peace, happiness. Until next time, goodbye.